I guess we all know the JBL brand, but its story and founder? Let's start without further ado. Founded by James Bullo Lansing in 1946, JBL manufactures sound system products in many areas from speakers to headphones. Today, we will not talk about the story of JBL, but the life of James B. Lansing, who gave the company its name. Lansing's life was a strange mix of turmoil, successes, and defeats. However, Lansing's actions played a large part in shaping the audio industry. The biggest legacy he left to the industry was JBL bearing the initials of his name. Interested in everything electrical and mechanical since he was little, Lansing was only 10 years old when he was able to make a Leiden jar, a jar in which electricity was stored, to prank his friends. When he was 12, he built a small radio transmitter from scratch. At the age of 22, he left his home after his mother's death and moved to Salt Lake City. It was there that he met Ken Decker, the man who would lay the foundations of JBL in the 1920s. Lansing and Decker founded a company in Los Angeles in 1927, which they called the Lansing Manufacturing Company. The duo produced speakers here. In 1939 Ken Decker, Lansing's partner, passed away. Without Decker, Lansing's business suffered, and in 1941 he realized that selling the company was the only way to keep him afloat. On December 4, 1941, Alltech Service acquired all the rights to the company. Agreeing that he would not do business under the Lansing name for at least five years, James Lansing began working at the company as vice president of engineering. In the fifth year, 1946, he left Alltech Lansing to establish a new company. Thus, the foundations of the company known today as JBL were laid. The company was founded during the economic collapse that followed the Second World War. The expected success could not be achieved due to both the economic problems and the fact that Lansing was never a cunning and successful business person. In 1948 and 1949, the company's debt rose to $20,000. Robert Arnold, who admired Lansing and his work, is thought to be one of the biggest reasons why the company, which was expected to go bankrupt, came to its current state. Thanks to Arnold's help, the company was able to survive. On September 24, 1949, James B. Lansing committed suicide by hanging himself, both due to bad business and personal problems. Known for his knowledge, friendliness and warmth, Lansing is well remembered and remembered long after his death. JBL, which is now owned by Harman International Industries, a subsidiary of Samsung, has become a global brand in audio equipment. As we wrote above, Lansing has become someone who is fondly remembered by all his family and friends. As the founder of JBL, he pioneered many innovations in the audio world. 